Councilmember Helena Brown here with this week's agenda reports for October the 10th. But we had 35 items in this week's agenda and I voted no to five, that's about 14%. Item number nine is a matter of a $65 million loan commitment for the Department of Public Works and Engineering for a period of about one year. Another day older and deeper in debt. We need to watch how, how much we're getting deeper and deeper in debt as a city. Item number 12 and 12A, this is a joint project between the city and the county for radio operations. And this is very good and necessary that the city and county be working together and cooperating in these matters. But what's not necessary is a building project with the city's portion costing us $2.7 million. How about using $2.7 million to catch up on the backlog of untested rape kits? We need to prioritize as a city and there are better uses for this $2.7 million. Item number 14 is $5.4 million for the administration of a special supplemental nutrition program for WIC. Item number 15 is $70,000 for assisting 70 low income individuals for, with rental assistance. We've seen this numerous times in previous weeks. Item number 16, this is for Independence Hall Apartments, and this is a debt service payment deference. This is not going to help their situation. This is actually going to worsen the situation down the road, and we can't be contributing to the, the worsening of that situation. That's the report for this week. The only other mention is that this week we approved the members of Tour 17. That's the tax increment revitalization zone in the area around I-10, north on uh, the Bunker Hill Road area and south around the Memorial area. And we have seven individuals appointed and reappointed, three of which are new, David Hamilton, John Rickle, Bob Tucker, and Ann Givens was reappointed and put as chair of the Tur 17s. So and congratulations to each of, of those reappointments and new appointments. And that's the report for this week. See you next week.